weekend. Here in New York City, the New York City Police Department on a manhunt for two suspects who shot 10 people after opening fire on a crowded street in a coordinated mass shooting. And in New Orleans, five injured when bullets started flying on Bourbon Street last night. Look at that, they're running for yeah, their lives. Wow. And Chicago capping off a violent July with a reported 15% rise in shootings last month compared to July of last year. Former NYPD officer and host of Unfiltered, Dan Bongino, is here to react. Hey, Dan. Hey, how are you all? We're doing Great. well, but you know, when you walk outside in some of these cities, in a lot of the big cities around the country, and people are fearful of something like this happening. I read a story about a guy who was just at the Mexican restaurant in Queens when that coordinated attack happened, and he was meeting his parents for dinner. Yeah, I've been listening to the show all morning, and I heard you and Steve and Pete and all, all you say accurately that, you know, you get out of a cab or a car in New York now, and, you know, for the first time in really decades, you're looking over your shoulder. I mean, people just didn't do that in the Giuliani and even in the Bloomberg era, to be fair. We had a good control over crime. I mean, not that crime didn't happen, but you didn't think, like, oh, my gosh, I'm just going to get robbed today. But you're right. This is happening. And, you know, it's interesting. You guys opened up with that Tucker Carlson special. It's totally unintentional, this, that, that, that obviously you didn't. The segue, but David Horowitz has this theory, and it explains why the Democrats have essentially become pro crime. He calls it, you know, the Democrats, they're the anti anti communists, right? Like, people wonder all the time, like, why is it Democrats will support Iran if they, if they throw people who are gay off buildings? How is it that Democrats are pro-crime? And it's because you have communists, right? And that's largely become the radical left. Then you have us. We're the anti-communists. We're like, hey, that's really bad. And then the Democrats, who hate us so much, they become the anti anti-communists. So whatever we're for, they're against. So if we're like, hey, we like law and order, they're like, you know what? We're pro-crime. Crime, crime is great. We love this is it I'm serious. Like you read Horowitz's material and it explains the left so well. Like, how can they be so stupid? How, I mean, you think to yourself, right? You all are smart people on this panel. You, they, it's not that they didn't know when they dumped broken windows policing that there was going to be an explosion in crime. Guys, let's not pretend that that when no one here is going to treat our audience like idiots. The Democrats knew that. And they did it anyway because they can't stand the Republicans so much. They were like, we'd rather take crime just to stick it to you idiots, you know, than to clean up our city and look good in the end. Man, oh, man. Yeah, it's an unfortunate truth. Speaking of, of uh, someone else the Democrats don't seem to want to stick it to, it's the communist Chinese. In fact, for the longest time, Dan, as you know, pointing to the Wuhan lab was considered a conspiracy. Well, now Fox News has this headline, and we got to get your take. Exclusive findings yeah. about Wuhan lab before COVID outbreak raised new questions about potential leak. Here's a portion of the report from the House Foreign Affairs Committee, the Republicans. They say such a significant renovation to the Wuhan lab so soon after the facility began operations appears unusual. All raised questions about how well these systems were functioning in the months prior to the outbreak of COVID-19. Dan, it appears that they did renovations because it wasn't properly set up right around the fall of the 2019. The air conditioner, the waste management system, right. you stuff know, like that. The important yeah, stuff. Yeah, kind of important. Yeah, you know, it's kind of important, right, guys? You know, respiratory disease, airborne, yeah. air handling, yep. kind of maybe a big deal, right? Uh, yeah. you combine that, that, that story, which is, which is incredible, by the way, and I mean that in a really awful way, like reading it. Combine that with the fact that infectious disease experts around the world had already highlighted the infection control procedures at the Wuhan lab, and combine that with the fact that U.S. intel had already highlighted that way before the pandemic mm -hmm. became public knowledge, that there were, uh, were scientists in that lab that had become ill. Yeah. And tell me again how we didn't know this place was going to be a problem and U.S. taxpayers funded it anyway. Tell me that again with a straight face. It, That's really sick. It was a brand new building. It was two years old. And for them to do that, that raises a lot of red flags. Michael McCall, Crazy. the congressman from Texas, released the report. He's going to be with us on America's New Room uh, coming up in the next program. And by the way, catch Dan Bongino's radio show today live from 12 to 3 on Fox Nation. Yes, sir. Mr. Bongino, thank, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Dan. Good to see you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, it was Dan. a pleasure.